You know, overall, the Democratic Party may not necessarily be offering me any policies that I like, but the fact that they do all of these really cool dances, it shows me how hip they are as a millennial, and it makes me want to vote for them. <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about, the Pete Buttigieg, High Hopes dance, whatever the fuck this is. Look, neoliberal centrists... They know that their policies suck, so the way that they try to make up for it and appeal to young folks is by coming up with these cringeworthy dances and the Pete Buttigieg High Hopes dance. That's not a new phenomenon. Like, back in the 90s at the Democratic National Convention, they were doing the Macarena, and yes, it was just as cringy then as these types of idiotic dance routines are now. You know, it shows that the people working for them, even though they're trying to have fun, it just comes off as overly culty to me, and I, I just hate it. And they have a way of making songs that are popular that people wouldn't otherwise really listen to hate these fucking songs with a passion. Now, in 2016, it was the fight song. Hillary Clinton had the fight song at every rally, and I absolutely hate that song. I still hate that song. It's one of the worst songs I think ever created. But now, the High Hope song, I think because it's accompanied with a dance, it's 10 times worse. Like, it's exponentially worse. Um, it's just, it, it's just so stupid. Like, you don't need a dance to appeal to young folks. All you need are policies, and that's how you're going to get people on board. You're not going to demonstrate how hip and cool you are by doing these dumbass dances. You're going to make us hate you more because it shows how out of touch you are. Because if you think that this is what's going to appeal to youngsters, well, that in and of itself showcases how out of sync you are with the Democratic electorate, namely young people. So, of course, since I hate all of these dances, I asked my patrons, what do you hate more, the fight song or the high hope song, which I think, objectively speaking, is one of the worst songs ever created. Objectively speaking, not subjectively, objectively speaking. <laughs> you, can, you can figure out some scientific way to measure how shitty songs are, and... Um, High Hopes would be near the top of that list. So, <laughs> between the fight song and the Buttigieg High Hopes song, uh, my patrons were very clear. Um, they hate Pete Buttigieg's High Hopes song way more than the Hillary fight song. Three times more, as a matter of fact. So, you know, this poll isn't surprising. I'm glad that they hate it as much as I do. But let's look at some of the comments, because I think that they really, you know, um, describe the situation well. Stephanie says, listen... To me, white people who get roped into dancing for a candidate is less cringe than organizing celebrities to sing a song designed to manufacture hype and good vibes for a candidate they were shoving down our throats as, quote, the best. Audio Guy says, Centrists shouldn't be allowed to access the arts. You need soul for that. Once you've sold your soul to the oligarchs, like their moral compass, your musical tastes can only point to shit. Tony says, I hear the High Hope song at work and it makes me want to throw up. And now that Pete uses it, I hate him even more. Karen says, Hillary sucks. Watch it, Karen. You better watch how you speak about the queen. Borgon says, where's the survey for best campaign song ever? Because even though I thoroughly dislike Donald Trump, his song, The USA Freedom Kids, the official Donald Trump jam is completely awesome. You could not create a better anthem for the alternate reality of our totalitarian present. It's like Stalinist realism, but for American conservative kid pop music. Deal from strength or get crushed every time. Liz says, Buttigieg equals cringe, Hillary song equals cramp. Garrison says, definitely Buttigieg. So, I mean, there you have it. I think that people on the left are in unanimous agreement that Pete Buttigieg's high hopes dance is not only stupid, but it makes me hate Pete Buttigieg even more. Like, I, I know, like, maybe I've just become way too cynical um, because that's what politics has done to me, covering it this closely now for multiple years. But I hate it so much. It, it just, it, it's weird, it's robotic, it's culty, and it's cringeworthy. More than anything, it's cringeworthy. So, um, yeah, it seems like people agree with me, and for good reason. It's kind of stupid, and Pete with the judge's team should stop doing it. But if they're not, then every time we see a video of it, we should definitely go out of our way to point out how silly they look, because it is, um, it's really fucking stupid. <laughs> It is. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a dick, but um, sorry, not sorry. It's fucking dumb. Stop doing it. Girly Mike Fettuccini needs your support on Patreon. What a loser. Visit patreon.com slash humanist report to support the low ratings humanist report. Sad. 
my views are much higher.